Hey, it's 2021. Don't drink and drive. This is 50 go. What's up, YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be trying out some more fog lights. You're probably saying, Will, why are you doing fog lights again? Um, well, what happened was uh, I was on uh, Instagram and this company reached out to me and asked me could I try a pair of their um, fog lights out and make a video for it. I was like, what's the catch? They were like, there's no catch. Just make a uh, video for it and they're yours. So that's what this video is all about. All right, let's get these bad boys open. All right, here we go. Osilla, hope I'm saying that right. Osilla. Bosla, 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 that's how I guess, Bosla, let's get these bad boys opened up and see what's inside. These are drivers to fit my car or something. I don't know. Bosla. 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 These are H. H8, H9, H11. One of these I got. open okay we have the product manual okay we got some kind of sticker decals We have the lights themselves. Now I know some of the things I've seen on YouTube, they have different colors. But I don't think this has it. I think mine are just one color, I think. I'm not sure. That's the other one. Alright, so we got the driver. What you're gonna do is uh hook this up like this and then plug this right here into your uh your factory fog light harness. And if it doesn't come on, what you could do is uh you could try to flip these around. Let's see. It's like if it don't work, flip this around like this. Alright, let's get these bad boys installed in the car. They want me to do a before and after. So I have to take out my other brand, Fog Lights, and put my stock ones in. Just so I could um, show the difference. Now I have the Bolsla versus the uh, stock um, Fog Light. The only problem I think I might have with this, like I did on my other set when I hooked up my other aftermarkets, is with this Whipple, uh, my inner cooler is down there, so it, it might be a close fit. Remember, when using your jack, always use jack stands too. Don't depend just on the jack. Alright, we're underneath the car, and as you can see, you can see up there and see my fog light housing. You just want to unplug uh, the clip and then twist the valve out. Okay, let me get the ball and twist it. Then you want to take the stock bulb out. 
Now you want to get this and do the same thing. Stick it in, twist it. Okay. Now you want to get your driver and plug your driver in. You're going to plug. Where were we at? Went into this one. And then went into the factory house, uh, factory harness. As you can see, the fog light's not on. It should be on. So what I got to do is come back down there and reverse the plug. All right. You just want to take this and flip it around. And be careful of these uh, drivers. They get extremely hot. All right, it's on now. So this is what I'm talking about on the driver's side. How I have this part of my, uh, I think it's the intercooler reservoir, reservoir pump right here. Put a coolant for my Whipple. And if you can see in there, I got the bumper halfway off, but there's not that much room behind this light bulb and that's the stock one so uh with this right here it's gonna be a lot bigger so hopefully it'll fit stick it in turn it and then you're gonna plug it up okay here's both uh stock fog lights driver side and passenger side All right, we got both the fog lights hooked up now. We're in the garage. Alexa, turn off garage lights. All right, this is just the uh, factory headlights, no fog lights. And this is what it looks like with the fog lights on. Big difference, big, big difference. Like I said, this camera is not doing these lights no justice because they're hella bright. I mean, it got my uh, factory lights looking like uh, some old school bulbs. All right, let's take it for a ride and see how it looks in the dark. back out just temporarily because I like that um, so far I'm happy with it but like I said this right here gets extremely hot and I don't want it to like melt my um window washer fluid container or hit any other type of wires so what I'm going to do is uh put some of this uh this is like header header wrap material it protects things from getting getting hot I mean keep the heat inside instead of letting it get out. And I ran into a problem like would I uh, 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 pros and cons of this one of the cons is when you try to take this back out when you 
like a factory one, you stick it in and you twist it to lock in. These things lock on the um, lock in there. But with this right here, you stick it in and you twist, and this whole thing wants to twist. So when I pull this out, this stays up in there. Then I gotta get it out with my fingers. So that's the only con I, I mean, yeah, con I had with these so far. All right, there you have it. The pros, the cons. Uh, with the Basla fog lights. Hope you enjoyed the video. You see how bright they were. The choice is yours. I give it a, a thumbs up. You know, like I said, I I didn't show you the difference between stock and 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 the Basla. You seen how bright it was. And I got another video where I have them going against another brand name, which I'm not gonna put in this video right here because this is about Basla, not the expensive brand on there that they are doing better than. But uh, anyway. You know the routine. Follow me on all social medias. Hit that bell. Hit that subscribe button. Don't drink and drive. Follow me on all social medias at This 50 Go. If you see somebody else with the name This 50 Go, tell them they're a copycat. Peace. All these damn bugs, man.